Welcome back to the channel. We was bench camping in Texas and we had a solar panel fail on us. The whole scenario was we was charging our Blue Eddy, which we have done probably a hundred times with this solar panel. It has ran full, flawlessly and I stepped out to see what the charge was and I could smell plastic burning. Come running over there, checked the Blue Eddy, it was still good. So I started sniffing around on the panel. I could smell the panel was actually was what was burning. Threw my meter on the, the panel and it was only producing 7 volts. Which this panel here should... As you can see here, this panel here should be producing 18 volts. And it was only producing seven. So I popped the covers off and what I found, this is what the panel should look like. You gotta come in, you gotta, you gotta bypass the diode right here. What I found was this bypass diode here had burnt. And I probably have it. Yeah. This is the diode that's out of here. And upon looking at it, all they do, let me go here to the good one, all they all that they do is lay this diode down and then put the wires over top of it. It's not soldered or anything like that. Luckily it didn't burn it up to the point that this panel cannot be used. So what we're gonna do is go in here. I actually ordered a bag of 50 of these diodes because I think we're right around 20 panels right now on different things. So, and everything's 100, 100 watt panels. So these should run on all of them. So what I'm gonna do is just put that right in there, right under them screws, and we should be ready to go. So let me go ahead and get that done. So these bypass diodes act as virtually a check valve. Allow current flow that way, but not this way. It'll come back and it'll hit a, a stop here. So let's go ahead and get that put on there. And really, since I already know we had an issue with that side, I'm just going to go ahead and change this side out too. Pick that up. Oh, there is a little groove right there for that to set in. I don't know if something can come loose or what caused that to heat up like that. You can actually see there was some burn on the back of that. And that should be a better connection than what come from the factory. Like I said, this big blue solar panel, 100 watt solar panel, the build quality on it is very good compared to some of the other ground panels that we have. You know, everything works really well on this. The reason I chose the big blue was because it had the Anderson connector and it'll go right into our, our solar generator. All the other ones had the MC4 and I didn't really want to mess with having multiple different, having multiple connectors. So that was the reason why we went with this way. So if you have a solar panel that is only putting out a couple volts, you may want to look at these bypass diodes. You may have one of them burn up. Here we are the next morning with the big blue solar panel that we've repaired the bypass diode in we have it plugged into our blue eddy and we're charging our dewalt battery as you can see the dewalt charger is pulling 51 watts and the panels are actually pulling in right around 68 69 it is 10 o'clock in the morning but with our meter on let's see our own dc we'll zero it out Let's see what kind of voltage we're getting off of this. So, one handedly, go positive to positive, negative to negative, and we are pulling in 23.9. So, the voltage is good. The Wattage is good. I think we was able to save this panel. 
which is good because that's a $160 panel I didn't want to have to get rid of. If you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing. Thank you. Bye.